Hello and welcome to the South Texas College Library Database Spotlight videos. Since the holiday break is coming up, I wanted to showcase a newer database, OverDrive. This database will be great for break because here you can check out ebooks and audiobooks. I'm Anna, an academic outreach librarian here at South Texas College, and I will be your guide. On our library main page, library.southtexascollege.edu, you can click Databases under Focus Search or on the left-hand side under Research Tools. I am going to click O for OverDrive. If you are off campus, you will need to sign in with your JAGnet username and password. Once you are in, you should double check to make sure that you are also signed in to the database specifically. If not, your sign-in is just your username and password again. You can read or listen to the books on your computer. If you don't want to read on your computer, but rather on your phone or tablet, you can download the free app called Libby. If you have a Kindle and prefer to read that way, you can set it up as your preference as well. Here you can just view the Kindle books, and here if you click on Collections, you have the option to choose ebooks or audiobooks but I'm going to go to Subjects. This area shows you all formats, the genres within the fiction and nonfiction, how many books we have in those genres. You can also separate it to either ebooks or audiobooks. By clicking on a genre, it will take you to that book collection. This banner with a plus sign in it lets you put the book on your wish list. So if you're unable to read it now, but you've heard amazing things and don't want to forget about it, place it in your wish list. You can find your wish list by clicking on My Account on the top right hand corner. If you read it and don't need it in your wish list anymore, you can remove it. If the audiobook or ebook is checked out and you want to read it when they return it, there is a place hold button that is normally where this borrow button is. Once the item is returned from the other person, you will get an email stating that it has already been checked out to you. Checkouts last for 14 days, and if you have not finished reading or listening to your book within those 14 days, three days before the book due date, you are able to renew the item. If someone places a hold on the item that you want to renew, you will not be able to renew your item. The person who has placed a hold on it is next in line and will receive the item. But then you can place the item on hold again and get it after the other person is through. You can listen to audiobooks on the computer or the Libby app. Just click borrow and listen now in browser. The three lines located at the top right of your page is like a menu where you can skip to different chapters, bookmark different areas, or just get tips and secrets. Here is also a bookmark where you can make notes. And this little cute crescent moon is a timer. If you click and drag down, you can change the timer. If you want to do it towards the end of the chapter, if you keep going down further, the time goes up. So let's say I just want the timer for 30 minutes. You know that the timer is on when you see the 30 minutes above the moon. You can also speed up the reading if you'd like. Again, just click and drag down. If you have logged off and you are logging back in, you can click on these little books to take you to the loans page. Or you can go to my account and click the loans as well. If there is a paper clip on the right hand corner, you can select the icon to see supplementary content from the publisher. Here where it says return, if it's three days before the return date, this is where you will see the renew button. Now it is time for the menu options on ebooks. I skip to the beginning part of the book so that I can show you what the menu items do. You can search for words here, skip through chapters, bookmark pages, 
and then you have your reading settings. You can make the text bigger or smaller, and you can also include accessibility sizes. You can change the lighting from bright to sepia to dark. Lastly, you can change the book design. It is normally on publisher's default, but there's legible, scholar, paperback, and open dyslexic. Here it states, this book design uses the open dyslexic font to increase the readability of text for readers with dyslexia. Learn more at opendyslexic.org. Or if you don't like any of these, you can custom fit it the way you want. So your font, the justification, line spacing, all done here. Again, here is the bookmark to bookmark a page if you want to search within the book. And this one actually changes it from viewing two pages to just one. If you cannot find the book that you want to read, you can always recommend it. Search the author or book title here. And you can come down and click on recommend. If you want to be placed on the waitlist and notified if we do buy the book, you can put your email address here and then just push recommend. The last thing that I want to show is the history tab. This area shows the books that you currently have or have checked out in the past. I like it because sometimes I can't remember names of the books that I've read, but it's a great book and I want to tell other people about it. And I can come here and say, oh yeah, it's this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Overdrive. Have a safe and happy holiday, everyone. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.